Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, guys. Uh, so on our hands now, we do have a uh, Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising weekly tarot reading for August 12th to August uh, 18th, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a couple of seconds here to shuffle the cards and we, are, we can jump straight away uh, into the reading itself. All right, I think that that's good enough. And now the first card which represents the topic for your queries for the week is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the next card which stands as the challenges that you need to overcome here. That is going to be the Six of Cups. All right, so uh, it looks like that uh, this is going to be rather like a uh, impulsive week in a sense of that, um, how do I display it? Well, uh, you will have to tackle with a, a person that is rather quite inconsistent. Not because they are, uh, how can I place it, um, they want to scrape down your nerves, okay? But uh, it, it is because they will have uh, that kind of like a change of heart which you ain't gonna like at all, okay? So let's say that that is a friend of yours that you kind of plan something to do in this week, August 12th to August 18th, 2019, and suddenly this friend of yours, it's kind of changes or bends a bit the, the, the rules of the endeavor or the endeavor itself. And it kind of, you are at, like, what's it? You mean, why are you doing this? You know? Well, the thing is that uh, the page of wands, it's uh, as a personality, it kind of, it's, it, it's never definitive in a sense of that, uh, you know, they constantly change on go and on fly, which makes them very versatile and, and, and how can I place it? Very surprising type of person. But in the same time, you can't really put your entire fate into them, unfortunately, okay? Now, another thing is very important here is that the page seems, it looks like that they don't really care what the other says, okay? So, it, it looks like that they, it will be whatever if, um, if you are to agree or disagree with them. That is how it's gonna look like. Now, you need to know that the page it's, uh, it looks very tough outside. It's like they have the whole world and whoever is with them, it's with them. Whoever, it's not with them for whatever and these kind of stuff. But um, deep down within themselves, they are extremely, extremely fragile, okay? And uh, without you even knowing it, you can inflict a, a grave wounds to the page's emotional state. So before you unleash your thumb and say something you may regret in the future, okay, try to see what kind of reasons this person have to change the plan in the last second. Because I'm sure that they do have reasons. As a matter of fact, I am 100% sure, right? I am convinced with these two cards that they do have reasons and you're not gonna like the reasons, but the reasons are reasons. And one or another way, one has to be compelled or rather like one has to oblige to those reasons. 
So the next card here, it is going to be the Seven of Swords, which represents the positive aspect. And in the last one, which is the Guidance, that will be the Two of Cups, okay? So um, <clears throat> with the next two cards, uh, it looks like that uh, you will, uh, how, how do I place it here? Uh, you will have no problem aligning with uh, with the new with the new way of how the page is going to move forward. Okay, but the thing is that you will also have the chance to change your original deal. So it's kind of like a, 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 a change of the original deal, exactly. So let, giving, giving you another example, let's say that uh, you are approached by your neighbor or by, by a friend of yours who is offering you a payment if you do a certain project, right? But suddenly, just before the project to be given, all right, or to be, uh, to be displayed, they changes the parameters of the project. Well, you don't have to be pissed about it. You can say, all right, I'm going to do the new, uh, the new criteria. So I'm going to meet them, you know, but I need more time and I need more money. Okay. So <clears throat> you need to know that this thing that the pages changes, it's not one way, uh, one way of a, uh, one way of a surprise. I mean, you have the rights. As a matter of fact, these cards here are advising you to step for your for your own personal rights and to change your personal rules or the rules that you have engraved from your besides as well. Okay, so the thing maintain its balance. But before we go to the and scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time here. We do have the Page of Wands as a topic of the week, followed by the Six of Cups as the challenges that you need to overcome. The other card here, it is the Seven of Swords, which stands for the positive aspect. And in the last one, it is the Two of Cups, which represents the guidance. All right, so Page of uh, Wands, we pretty much uh, display the card here. Let's say, let's see what we do have uh, as a... Um, Catalyst. So it's the six of wands. All right. So typical combination for where one sees a shortcut. One sees a shortcut. One sees an, an opportunity to cut corners and to chase quick and easy success. It's it's simple as that. <clears throat> so the page sees this as an opportunity where it can cut corners. It could say it, it or he or she can take a shortcut and simply does it in a very last minute. And you are baffled you know and, and kind of shocked of, of of how easily this person makes up their mind just like that okay but the thing is that um uh, it will work out for both of you for the page and for you as well and um instead of looking at it as a, a nasty surprise in the very last minute it will be best if you look at it as a, a chance to take even more from it from this project or from this relationship or whatever okay I'm just saying, because the page here with these two cards, it's kind of hoping for, like I said, a, a fast profit, fast success, whatever. And it's willing to give you the credit for it. All right. It, the page doesn't care about the credits in, in this specific case. It's willing to give you the credits for it. And as a matter of fact, it does rely on you. All right. And it's a very... Uh, fearful of how you are going to react on you know, when they divulge you the information that actually there is a a, a a change of the plan. So that leads us to the next card here, Aquarius, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. And we do have the Six of Cups. So Six of Cups in this case, this represents the, uh, the, dis, um, the disgrace, it's not disgrace, but let's say the repulsiveness of the new the new stipulations the new rules that you need to go with i, I mean it's it's gonna be very um this not disgraceful why i'm always coming up to this word um well let's say it that way you're not gonna be very thrilled finding out what you have to do so you can meet this new criteria all right as a matter of fact this would this would be the last thing you want to do not because you can't do it but because it it kind of gives you no joy or a satisfaction whatsoever it does not require any creativity it does require it does not require any brain function function it, it just it just require a, a mechanical work it's just like you just follow the rules and, and, and it happens all right but it will not bring you the satisfaction of that you have created something you know on, on based on your terms because the terms had changed 
Additionally to that, this card could display as well something different, that actually there is an attraction in between you and the page, which could be a person, right? Or this attraction could start uh, forming itself. And that will be the challenge here, to resist the attraction for the time being until the goal is reached. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Wands, the, the formation, it is a, a passive uh, passive enemies, and it's it's a big mismatch of uh, of uh, an ambitions in the sense of that you are gonna have a very difficult time seeing the bright side behind the new the new rules, or right? I seeing behind uh, the bright side of this new plan that the page is gonna come up with. For example, you and your wife are planning a vacation, right? And you want to go into I don't know Florida, Miami to to, to have a nice. Um, nice time on the beach and so on and so forth and suddenly your husband let's say it's it's changing this in the very last minute minute and books tickets for dubai okay is it bad no is it disappointing yes because you had that mindset to go for florida okay and why they have changed that? Well, it is because something they felt they have to do. There, is, there isn't that big reason behind it, all right? It's just it came up to their mind. They kind of felt strong impulse to do it, and they did it, okay? Can you live with it? Definitely. Can you enjoy it? Yes, but it does require different mindsets. So do not make up your decision straight away because you cannot see the bright side of it, all right? Just... Try to be more, more patient and uh, give yourself a time to assimilate the, uh, assimilate the, the, uh, the new um, information, to digest it, if I may say it that way. So the next one, uh, it's uh, the positive aspect, and we do have the Seven of Swords. Well, you cannot do much about it. The, the, the conditions and the rules have been changed, all right, without you being asked about it. But now as the rules have changed, you, like I said, have the chance to change your own rules, your own demands, your own stipulations. And as a matter of fact, you got to do it. I mean, you have to step for your own personal rights and demand your deservings here. All right. So if your husband, let's say, books a ticket for Dubai and you say, OK, I will come with you in Dubai but no gambling, right? Or no drinking, okay? Or these kind of stuff. I mean, you can put your own rules into it and the page will have to agree with them if they want their, their goal to be accomplished, which in my book, it's like two birds with one shot. You know, you're going to be happy. They're going to be happy. So it's, it's everybody is happy. It, 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 it's just you don't have to freak out about it. All right. But you definitely need to slam your fistful on the table and, and, and say what you are to what are the conditions under which you are to do what the page is now proposing instead of the original plan and goal. Uh, the next one is going to be the five of pentacles and the formation. It is a active uh, enemies. And my, it's going to turn out even better <laughs> than you thought, you know. I mean, instead of they ruining your experience, uh, they are going to make you experience even greater stuff with the page, with this uh, with this combination. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it, even if, if it is related to career or if it is related to, to, to a relationship or anything, that uh, you will be able to um, to get exactly what you uh, what you want out of it because and thanks to this new rules that the page is exerting. Um, it's not even for example, but let's say that uh, in the original plan, in the original negotiations, there were some sort of a compromise in between you two. So you can reach a common, uh, a common ground, all right? Well, the page broke that compromise. Well, it's time for you to broke that compromise as well. And uh, finally, you have the chance to demand for what you originally wanted. And the page will have no choice whatsoever but to agree. Because don't forget, with the first two cards, they need you, okay? They, they really need you. And without you, it doesn't look like that they're going to have as near as good experience from the whole endeavor as with you. And they completely realizes that, or realizing it, excuse me. So the last card here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. And the first thing that the Two of Cups here points is that you need to put your pride on the shelf. Think 
clever, okay? Yeah, they changed it, all right? Yeah, they screwed you over without you knowing it. But it's time for you to make a payback, okay? It's time for you to, um, like I said, make your own rules. And to do so, you need to put your pride on the shelf, meaning you should not storm it straight away in a sense of like annihilating the page with your tongue, but rather think clearly about what, what kind of a big of opportunity they gave you to dominate over them, all right? Second thing, you need to know that uh, maintaining a good terms with the page is going to be beneficial, um, ultimately beneficial, you know, in the long run. And as well, the card could be a sign that the page have, an, have a, a romantic interest in you. Or if you are already in a romantic relationship, well, that thing deepens here with uh, the Two of Cups. They are willing to give you what you want out of love because they realize that they screwed up unintentionally. Because they thought it's going to be a good idea. I mean, they thought that you are going to embrace it, but sadly you didn't. And they fucked up by not telling you that they're planning it. So it's time to really pay back with the interest from your behalf, that is, okay? So the, the last one here, which is the, uh, <clears throat> the strength card, the formation, it is the passive enemies that we do have on our hands here. And uh, with the strength cards, it's, uh, it's like there shouldn't be any um, patience whatsoever in the sense of that's... Uh, how can I place it? When you want something, you, ha you have to go and get it. Um, if you know what I mean. I mean, uh, I mean here, it is that if you are expecting that the page is going to feel guilty that they changed the rules and offer you what you want, it's not going to happen really, guys. I mean, if you keep it a silent treatment, let's say they change the course of your vacation and you are pissed about it, but because you don't want to hurt the page or kind of like you don't want to look like a... Uh, um, ungrateful person or whatever you name it and you say oh okay so we're gonna figure it out well the page just accepts that your terms I mean it seems to the page that you are agreed to it I mean you are happy about it okay so you, if you are displeased you shouldn't hide it it's my point all right you shouldn't you shouldn't try to overcome it in any way but instead try to work out these new rules in your favor which you totally can do Aquarius this week. So uh, that being said, guys, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading August 12th to August 18th, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.